and gentlemen, my name is Drathan, a.k.a. The Blind Tank, and I want to welcome you to episode number 11. Um, now, one of the things that I normally do is talk a little bit about Star Wars and then talk about uh, uh, World of Warcraft or any other things that are going on uh, in the gaming world. Um, this week... I'm not really going to talk about anything other than uh, Blizzard uh, because Bioware is getting a little weird. Um, if you want to know more about that, check out uh, Kid Lee uh, on YouTube. He'll explain a lot more of it. Um, so let's get right back. I'm right on to business. Uh, this week we had our professions Q and a with the developer. Um, his name is Paul Kubit, uh, with Josh Allen, AKA lore. Uh, they talked about different types of stuff and, um, I want to go into, uh, uh, some of the big points that they had, uh, they had talked about and, one of the big things that they got a lot of questions about was uh, the blood of Sargeras. Uh, now, how this works, um, for those of you who didn't play in Mist or anything in uh, farther back, uh, it's, it's basically a crafting material that you can use for your, um, for your crafting. Um, it's BOP. For those of, uh, uh, those of you who don't know what BOP is, it's bind on pickup. Um, it's not going to be bind on account or bind, you know, it's not going to be able to be mailed. Um, and they're pretty much making this um, stick pretty much throughout Legion. Um, the reason why they've gone and done this is for a number of reasons, but the main one is um, the higher level stuff ha is like um, uh, prestige. Um, if you want to uh, uh, up your gear to like 850, you need uh, 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 Bloods of Star Garrus. If um, you want to make the high end um, gear, again, Sargeras. If you want some different type of look, you're going to need Bloods of, of Sargeras. It also lets everybody know, hey, this is how much time I've gone and put into the game since the beginning uh, of the of Legion's release. How do I feel about it? Actually, I think it's pretty cool. One of the other things that they're they're doing is um, you'll be getting uh, Bloods of, Blood of Sargeras is off of a gathering. Uh, so like with Dre, I'm a blacksmith. So any node that I I hit, I'll be able, I'll have a chance of getting Blood of Sargeras. Also, there'll be different types of uh, 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 quests and things like that that I can get more and more of that um, now what I understand it won't be super rare however it is tied to RNG so those of you who are like me that RNG hates my guts good luck um, 
but again, one of the things that that had come out came out about it was that um, this is something that they wanted to do, and also uh, for those that are doing nothing but um, gathering and not having a a, a production uh, profession. They'll have uh, they'll have like they did in Mist, where you bring in the uh, uh, the moats, you trade them in for whatever um, they'll have on the uh, vendor. They what I'm understanding now, I could be wrong about this, but what I'm understanding that will not be a part of 7.0 when it releases. But it may be on 7.1 now like I said it may or may not happen um, also something else that I want to uh, uh, put across to everybody um, because it was put across in the uh, uh, Q&A just because something is data mined does not mean that Blizzard is going to put it in there um, they don't have to and if they don't want to do it, they don't have to do it. Um, for those of you who have um, followed Blizz and, and you know participated in a lot of their games and you're reading different things like on MMO Champion and other different sites like that, you will find out that Blizzard goes and says, okay, I'm, we're gonna troll and they'll throw something in there. Um, if you play Diablo 3, there is a boss called Data Miner. Um, and Blizzard likes going and making that one of the bounties um, in Diablo 3. Um, it, it's a troll on the da Data Miners, and it's a troll on the people that listen to Data Miners. Um, and Blizzard is having a lot of, a lot of fun with it. Um, but again, I want to uh, emphasize, if it is data mined and we're not live with what's coming out, it may not be there. Uh, so, you know, expect to not get something or maybe get something. If it feels like you're being trolled, you're probably being trolled. Um, and Blizzard is is good at trolling their fans. Um, now, one of the the other things that I wanted to talk about is this Obliterum. Um, it's going to be uh, a component where, again, I'm going to use uh, Dre in uh, his blacksmithing. Now, one of the things that we will not be getting, and I want to add this on too, is we will not be doing like we did in Warlords of Draenor going and taking um, uh, like a, a sharpening stone or an anvil and changing the uh, secondary specs um, what will be happening is we'll have to go back to uh, what we did uh, in Mist and uh, backwards is this a good thing bad thing well you know it there's different opinions on each side however here's the thing if you're looking at the secondary stats are always going to be random no matter what so the uh, uh, they had gone and given a uh, an example um, of uh, doing a 12 different pieces 12 pieces of, uh, of I'm going to say a chest um, to get that uh, that piece uh, that piece that you know fits what your spec is and what you need what your secondary stats are and yada 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 now those other 11 pieces can go to the forge which breaks down all the legendary stuff now I'm not sure if it's just because uh, I'm still confused about this it's um, the uh, the forge goes and gives you when you drop um, your uh, stuff into it it gives you a region called uh, obliterum um, that obliterum goes to up your gear now I'm not sure if obliterum comes from everything um, like you know 
DEing it, DEing greens or blues or whatever uh, quest items that have come out of that. Um, if it is good, if not, well, okay. As profession, I mean, people that are doing a lot of professions, we're going to have a lot of different stuff. Um, now, like I said, the obliterum uh, basically goes and um, ups your uh, uh, your gear level from I am from from the release of seven to seven point one to eight fifty. So there's going to be a lot of a lot of need to upgrade your your armor. Now, what exactly does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? I want you to think of what we have right now. We got uh, when. Um, uh, the last the last raid came out um, and the new island opened up we got uh, Valor Valor was reinstated um, you took 250 Valor and you upgraded you know a piece of your armor your rings stuff like that that is coming in 7.0 and that's going to be with this obliterum um so instead of waiting, we'll have it. Um, now, will it be um, later on, like in 7.1, are we going to get, um, you know, ups on that? What, what I could um, get from what, what was happening is uh, the upgrades, there might be more. Uh, coming but basically what this um, what they're wanting to do is get everybody ready for the first raids that are coming out because once the mythic dungeons and mythic plus dungeons and uh, stuff like that come out um, you'll be taking that 850 uh, gear level and, uh, that you've been ma making up and you'll be uh, trading that out with the mythic the LFR and things like that. So basically, what this is doing is it's getting you ready for you know your your normal rating LFR. This way, you can be competitive as you're trying to get your your new gear. Um, now, one of the other things that that uh, they had talked about on the uh, on the Q and A was. What are they going to do with uh, professions? What what is their their goal with the professions? Basically, what they want to do is if if you're like me and you've been playing this game since vanilla, um, one of the things that have been um, talked about a lot and um, you know I don't want to say argued about, but there's been a lot of different discussion. Professions had their own little niche. If you were a blacksmith, you you know, people knew that you were a blacksmith because you know if they went and you know inspected you, and you had uh, your your wrists were uh, socketed and your belt was socketed, and other different stuff that you were uh, you were doing as a blacksmith. Um, there was there was different things that you were able to do and uh, the different looks that you were able to have um, and the perks for it now in uh, I think it was mist they had taken that that away in Legion they're going to be bringing it back um, but they're not going to be doing like the gloves and the wrist are going to have uh, extra slots or or anything like that um, but there's going to be a, hey, I'm a blacksmith. This is what I, I this is, you know, this is what I'm getting out of my uh, profession. Um, an example that they had given is um, the uh, engineers. One of the things that they'll be bringing to the raids are uh, these totems or pylons. And it's you're basically this is how it how it works the uh, you know your engineer has has a, a pylon you're getting ready you go hit the first boss everything's going well and then all of a sudden things go really wrong the uh, 
um, the uh, engineer can go and say, okay, I'm going to drop a pylon here. Everybody get to it as close as you can to the pylon because when you die, it will resurrect you. Um, when the, the game goes and says, okay, it's a wipe, the, the boss disappears, everybody gets resurrected. So it's, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, and each one of the uh, uh, professions have one of these things. So um, can't wait and see a lot of what, what is going on. Um, now, one of the big things of, uh, that we've been, been hearing about is if you're a gatherer, um, again, I'm going to use Dre. Um, Dre goes up to a node and goes and says, okay, ting, 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 get the node. Once I get to a certain point, well, let's, let's back up here a second. I go first time in, in Legion. Here's the example. First time in Legion, I hit uh, where I'm going to start my uh, questing at. I find the node. I uh, go and hit the hit the node. Now I have will get anywhere between one to three uh, pieces of, of material from that node. Um, now here's the here's the uh, the really cool part of it. You get a uh, quest item that you go back to Dalaran and, and your um, blacksmith or miner training. And what you do is every time that you get one of these things, um, it ups your level of, of your experience of going and saying, hey, I'm able to um, mine, this, mine this node with proficiency and there's, you'll see stars on your uh, on your uh, professions. Now those stars will go and say, okay, at you know this node, you are a you know a two or a three. Um, it means that you have a lot of profession I mean, proficiency at you know mining that node. So you get more more stuff from that node. Once you're at max level, you'll be able to double tap it. Um, here's the other thing. You're, uh, you're on a node. You go and tap the node. And right before you tap the node, here comes a droid sweeping in and taps that node too. Well, he has um, that druid. They have their ability to tap that node. And so do you. Um, once you tap tap that node, it'll disappear for you. But everybody else, it'll still stay there. Good thing, yes. So we don't have any of the shenanigans that had happened uh, before. Um, the next thing that that I want to talk about is, oh, let me back up. Not only with gathering professions, you'll have this star thing, and um, once you get better at it, the different nodes, you'll tap them faster. Now, the uh, uh, other professions like blacksmithing and, uh, you know, like what you're right, blacksmithing, the more stars that he has, the faster he goes and creates them. You know, so you can stand there when you're first first doing uh, Legion. Dre will be standing there for like five minutes, popping out, yeah, let's say, 10, 10 pieces of armor. Okay. Farther on down the line, those 10 pieces eh, might take uh, 30 seconds, depending on, on how they're going to be working it. They do have... A long-term vision for what is going to be happening with professions and how it's going to be uh, viable throughout the entire expansion one of them is going to be at 110 there's going to be um, uh, daily or weekly quests um, for not only your gathering but also for your production uh, profession 
Now, the other thing, and I want to talk about this real quick, is one of the things that they are thinking about is taking the gathering and putting it into the secondary slot. So it'll be with, you know, your your first aid, your cooking and stuff like that. Um, it's going back and forth in Blizzard right now because they want the gathering to have some type of meeting that not everybody's doing it um, or ever, or we would pretty much go back to like uh, what we had in uh, Warlords Adrenaline. It was okay in Warlords Adrenaline, but let's close the door on that, okay? Um, now with, uh, uh, with professions, there is going to be later on a catch-up type of, uh, mechanism that is going to be in there for, um, for the, uh, professions. They got a little bit into it, but not really. Um, one of the things that they did specify is for fishing fishing will not have let me say this again will not have um, a catch-up mechanic whatsoever um, they feel that you know with fishing you go up to a node and you throw the line out there it doesn't matter if uh, if you're zero or 800 you're going to be able to fish out of that uh, there won't be any, you know, um, fragment or small fish. It will basically be what, you know, if you're fishing a node or tapping a node or anything like that, you'll get what everybody else gets. There's not going to be any of that, you know, fragments or, you know, little petals or anything like that. It is basically going to be, you know, what everybody gets. Uh, they're trying to save banks play bag space and also time which I can you know I can uh, I can appreciate it uh, right now there will not be any United Bank for like uh, your regions uh, it sounds like a good idea but right now they don't really want to do it right now because it's it'll cause some problems I can understand now, again, remember what I said in the beginning about the uh, um, uh, the data mining? Here's one of the uh, uh, things with the data mining. Um, fishing artifact, the, the fishing pole artifact. Yes, it was data mined. No, it may or may not be on launch. Okay. Uh, the they're, they want to uh, have that artifact because, hey, we're getting an artifact as weapons. You know, they don't want to just throw artifacts at us. Um, so this is going to be one of those things. If you really like fishing, this is something for you to grind out um, and, you know, different things that you need to do for it. You know, there's a chance that you may get it later on, but even though that it's even though the data miners went and said hey right here it is we more than likely will not see it until 7.1 7.2 um, if we do see it it'll be um, uh, it'll be a small amount of people that get it because if it's an artifact they're thinking of of it is if it's an artifact it needs to be, you know, only a few people have it. Not everybody in the world has it. It's not Oprah giving away, uh, uh, giving away cars. Uh, you know, you get a car, you get a car, you get an artifact, you get an artifact, and none of that stuff. They want to balance all of that. And there's some really cool stuff that is going to be coming with the, uh, um, the fishing pole. Uh, you'll be able to teleport directly to a node, a fishing node. Um, if you have to do some type of, you know, swimming or anything like that, this thing will turn you into a fish, make you uh, faster, uh, don't have to breathe on, uh, breathe underwater, uh, giving you uh, the, uh, uh, 
you know, the ability to walk on water. So we can understand or we can all agree or agree to disagree um, that this right here is, you know, it's pretty powerful. It's something that you need to work for. If you like fishing, this is something you, that you'll want to do. Um, if you're not really up on fishing, really don't want to do it, this, this grind may not be for you. Um, okay, also later on down the uh, line with the different uh, uh, patches that are coming out, there will be more, uh, um, there will be more um, recipes and stuff like that for the professions. Uh, and also with each of the, uh, uh, the uh, patches, the, uh, the daily quest or the weekly quest for professions will get even bigger and better. Um, so, I mean, I've said this a couple of times in past episodes. Blizzard has gone and worked their butts off on this. They've planned different things. I'm really thinking, and this is just my opinion, um, I'm really thinking that this expansion is the, yeah, last expansion we kind of messed up. You know, there was some really good stuff. There was some not so really good stuff. We're sorry, and here's our apology, and it's Legion. So, we'll see. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for World of Warcraft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost done. Um, I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time with, it, with this. Um, I want to publicly say goodbye to a friend, someone that I've, I met, um, met this young lady, uh, in Cataclysm. Uh, really well known in uh, in the community um, and really bubbly really had a lot of a um, lot of good energy I and mean, she loves loved World of Warcraft she uh, loved being around the community um, and I'm just going to blurt it out. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, last Sunday, I got the news that uh, Stormy Knight had passed away. Um, some of you may know her. Some of you may not. Um, some of you may know her by uh, Stormy Mouse. Uh, but most people know her by Stormy Knights or Stormy. Um and Stormy, Stormy was one of the uh, one of the funniest people that I had met. Um, Stormy was uh, people used to call her Stormy Mouse and and Mouse because uh, she was this small, adorable little thing that sometimes would squeak. Um, you'd have to turn her up sometime and uh, you know mumble because you couldn't hear her because she didn't talk uh, really loud. Um, however, um, if she got upset with somebody, oh, she let them know. And as I can tell you that, yeah, she let me have it one day when I was pulling off of, uh, off the, one of the tanks that, uh, she was healing and it's like, Dre, yes, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, I remember, um, one of her greatest time of year in uh, in World of Warcraft was Easter time. Um, hearing her go and say "buddies," I mean, at a high high pitched voice, um, she always was excited about it because you know there's bunnies everywhere. She could go and turn her friends into uh, into bunnies, and you know, chase us around and. Um, cute little story here um, we were getting ready for a raid one night and it was around Easter and you know she's she's you know bouncing off the walls and having a good time 
and all of a sudden all 25 people that are in the raid all of a sudden are being turned into bunny rabbits um and you know she's like buddies um but like i said she uh, uh stormy was stormy absolutely loved that holiday um some people did not know that Stormy was uh, sick for a long time. Um, she had lost uh, both of her kidneys when she was a young girl. Um, and she had, let me get this right, she had uh, uh, two other kidneys. One of them was rejected and another one had failed later on. Um, but knowing Stormy and the different things that she went through on her daily basis, we knew that she was in pain. Um, and Stormy never really, you know, complained or, you know, boo-hooed or anything like that. She, you know, she, she was an inspiration for a lot of people and, I myself and for my family, I want to say, Stormy, you will be missed a lot. Um, and we will miss you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for letting me get that off my chest. Uh, for the shout outs this week, I want to say uh, a big shout out for Able Gamers. Uh, if you want to know more about Able Gamers, Able Gamers is at ablegamers.com. You can also find them on Facebook. Just to use, uh, type in Able Gamers on Facebook, you'll find them. Um, now, they don't, um, you know, promote me. I don't get any money or anything like that. The different things that these guys, uh, the, this company does, um, for people with disabilities, you know, kids with disabilities, um, they're an awesome, uh, awesome uh, bunch of I mean, bunch. Uh, I, excuse me, sorry, DMS is kicking. Um, the uh, this is a really good company and really great people that have worked for this company, um, and you know, I cannot say enough for this company. The next big shout out that I want to um, do out is for all you streamers that are out there that are going and giving us all kinds of information uh, on uh, Legion that is coming out, what's coming out in uh, PTR. Uh, a big shout out to uh, uh, Panzer from Trade Chat. She uh, she broke this week uh, the story on two new heroes coming out for uh, uh, Overwatch. So keep that keep that in mind. Uh, go check these people out on Facebook, on YouTube. Check them out. See what they're all about. Um, and again, I want to say thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed listening to this. I enjoyed giving you all this information. Emmy, guess what, sweetheart? This is another episode in the bag. Cue the music, and we are out of here. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, and have a great weekend. And also, remember, I may be blind, but at times I see more than you do. 